welcome back to me talking about my version of the Marauders in podcast form with Emma. Yay! Yeah. We're back. <laughs> people, people are very upset with us. <laughs> I, I saw. And I, <laughs> I'm talking very upset that the podcast has been gone. Um, like, I don't know. It's just... <laughs> It's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. I think it's kind of funny, it's but I'm funny, not the but, one in but charge. But my, fa- my favorite thing is mm. about it is that they're like, like not trying, not trying to force you or anything. They're like, but like, when is it coming back? But then they're also like really mean in their like, comments. What is it? Why did you cancel the podcast? But you should but be putting your mental health first. <laughs> yeah, it was just, it was just a little funny. <laughs> the way, the, just the stark contrast of like, literally, I can't believe that you would not put up this podcast it's what I live for and everything and like honestly you're ruining my mental health but like take your mental health seriously and I'm like that doesn't really work <laughs> we appreciate that you guys like it but yeah <laughs> as me and Emma were talking today at lunch I was like I can't believe that like anybody cares yeah. about it like enough to notice when like we miss a week because like as we were talking about like I don't keep track like of, of like youtubers that I've like subscribed to like I don't keep track of like their schedule, but like when I get a notification, I'm like, dang, guess they guess, guess they like, posted. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I don't know, but I don't don't get me wrong. I very much appreciate yeah. it. It was just a little funny. Um, <laughs> some of them, some of them comments were pretty good. <laughs> I thought you just weren't gonna because you like paused. <laughs> I thought you were like tapping. <laughs> Welcome back to the podcast. <laughs> Wait, can, should, this should be the thumbnail. One second. <laughs> Aren't you so glad we're finally doing this? <laughs> okay, okay. In regards to questions, um, did I forget? Yes, of course I did. This is me we're talking about. Um, but no, I feel like we should just start off with just like we we can we can move away from the questions and more just into like hey how's your life been, mm-hmm. um, and you know I think my biggest life update from the last time we were here is what happened today, um, which is you know Matt from when he was on when you were gone, <laughs> he just won homecoming yeah, king today. And we're awesome. S- we're so excited. I'm so glad. And yeah. he, it's, like, announced at, like, a pep rally and stuff. Check out my mm-hmm. TikTok if you yeah. aren't American and you're like, what the heck is a pep rally? <laughs> um, but, no, I, um, yeah, I literally screamed so yeah. hard in that video. Like, I definitely, my voice, if it's, like, gone by yeah. the end of this episode, that's why. You can blame Matt. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, so, like, that's that's what's interesting with me. Um, what's up with you? Um... <laughs> I have a fun story from today. Okay. So after the pep rally, I was walking back inside and I see Dylan and they're like, they wave at me and then they just say, Marauders girl. (laughs) And then that was the whole interaction. (laughs) That was funny. (laughs) (laughs) Not Elizabeth's friend. (laughs) Not anything. Just marauders girl oh my gosh yeah anyway oh dylan is still asking to be on an episode of the podcast because i did promise them that they could be on an episode of the podcast and then here's what happened uh they just haven't been on yet (laughs) and i feel kind of bad about it but um so sorry about that um but yeah y'all y'all will meet dylan officially later but that's so funny i love that i'm trying to think if there's anything else of note Um, in our, like, we go to, like, a Bible study class before school, and every single day, one of the guys does the worm, (laughs) and it's become become an event, and it's called the Daily Worm, and every every day, yeah, it's so good. It really brightens my day. It really does. So, yeah, um, Brady did the Daily Worm today, (laughs) and that will always be my highlight of my day, is that he did the Daily Worm. All right. Um, so I feel like just to, you know, repay all the damage that I've done by not posting, we should just jump right into it. Yep. (laughs) Okay. Okay. Are you excited? Yes. Yay! (laughs) Me too. Okay, so here's, here's part of what happened and part of why we didn't get an episode because I have so many things, especially in this year, I have so many things that I know need to happen and, like, I feel like I should add more stuff in between, 
But right now, I'm so overwhelmed with school and stuff that it's really hard for me to come up with yeah. stuff in between. Um, so I was going to have one more episode of summer and then jump into, like, first day of school stuff. But I just kind of morphed that together <laughs> because okay. I was like, I'd rather just get an episode mm-hmm. out. Um, so if this is kind of, like, more feeling like snippets, especially for the first little bit, that's why. <laughs> All right. Um, so let's dive right in. Uh, now it's, I used to picture dive right in I used to be like like diving into a swimming pool whenever I said that like I just have these things that I'm thinking of and now I'm thinking like cliff diving like in those like flying squirrel suits or whatever <laughs> you know have you seen those and they like <laughs> let's let's soar right in let's soar let's hang glide right in right. only we think our jokes are, are we funny. actually gonna dive yes we will okay okay so this starts off with a bullet point that I said, um, so let's kind of do a rough draft of the rest of the summer. (laughs) Um, all right. So at at some point in August, as he always does, Mm -hmm. Sirius says peace to Grimmauld Place and is like, you guys are sick of me. Guess I'm going to go to the Potters. And they're like, okay, sounds good with us. Um, (laughs) But yeah, and as always, he's like, sounds good with us. I know, and as always, Regulus, he, he tells Regulus, he's like, listen, like, you can come with. <laughs> and Regulus is like, I'm, I'm a pass. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I'm good. I'm good without James. He's like, I had one conversation with he's James like, this already, summer. I'm already too much. And it's too much. I'm too done. much James for one lifetime. Yeah, honestly. See, this is why Jegulus could never work. <laughs> People are going to be so mad. Anyway. It's because James knows how to swim. That's why it doesn't work. <laughs> anyway, point is, uh, he goes to the Potters. They have a pretty dope time. Uh, vibing it up. Anyway. Mm-hmm. And then Peter's little update is that um, he's not really sure how it happened, but he kind of ended up staying, like, friends with, like, those the French, French the French Death Eaters. Mm. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, they're not that bad. They're he's like, like, I mean, like, they're still my bros. <laughs> <laughs> Like he's like he's not like thrilled with anything that they did, but they're but he's like he's like they're still they're still he's cool. like they didn't do anything to yeah. me, so like whatever. So yeah, but anyway, but he's still like not gonna tell like James and Sirius about that because they would have very different opinions about how that goes down. Um, they're gonna be like, hey, just hang out with some Death Eaters. Are gonna you be guys? Like, <laughs> they're gonna be like, uh, so you're not hanging out with us? <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, no, but anyway. So, but anyway, at this point in the summer, like in August, usually the, usually Peter and Remus just kind of like float in between like the Potter's house and, you know. Their own stuff. Yeah. And it's just, it's just kind of the vibe. But Lily at one point is like, yo, Remus, like we gotta hang out Mm -hmm. at some point. And they have just gotten like their, um, their book lists in. And so he's like, why don't we go shopping in Diagon Alley together? Like that sounds so fun. And she's like, oh my gosh. And so, you know, they go to Diagon Alley. Things are nice. They go and they buy their books and they're Mm -hmm. like vibing and everything. And then they go and have ice cream at Florian Fortescue's. And they are, um, you know, just vibing outside on, like, one of those little, like, foldable metal tables that's, like, actually Mm -hmm. agony to sit on, you know? Um, Nice, perfect, lovely ending to their day. Or so we think. Until the Slytherins show up. Dang. And they're, like, the the, the mean <laughs> boys. Like, some of Snape's friends and some of, like, the older kids. Not and the like... English Death Eater. <laughs> <laughs> Not the English. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, yeah, but basically. <laughs> so they just... <laughs> We're not that funny. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we laugh way too much on this podcast for, like, how funny we are. Anyway. So they show up and they're, like, just just here to start a bad time, you know? <sighs> and so they're, like, oh, Remus, I didn't know you could, like, actually get a girlfriend. Um, So, unfortunately, I'm so sorry you had to settle for a mud blood, but, like, at least it's something or something. <laughs> and Remus is, like, you know what? How we deal with this is to just ignore it. And Lily's, <laughs> like, nope. <laughs> um, and so she's, like, well, you're one to talk. When's the last time you were with anyone that you didn't bribe? <laughs> Go on, Lily. <laughs> and he's, like, Rocky's angry. coming over for the tea. Oh, Rocky likes the tea. Hi, buddy. You're going to hit the microphone, he's, dude. He's not you're sure. You're going to hit the microphone. Hey, buddy. Come on. 
much. Okay. Okay, sir. I don't think there's enough room. I really don't feel like there. Oh, he thinks there's enough room. Okay. Um. But anyway, so she's like, "When's the last time you didn't bribe somebody?" And he's like, "Well, at least we know where Remus's loyalties lie, because no self-respecting wizard who had like a solid wizarding lineage would ever sleep with a mudblood." And she goes, "That's not what your mom said last night." <laughs> I don't know. Once that came into my head, I was like, it's not leaving. <laughs> so, isn't Remus like a half blood too? Yes, he is. But at least you'll see what they kind of meant by that later in the episode. But um, no, I just had to have at least one your mom joke. But anyway, Remus is like, okay, so like maybe we should calm down and like. One, one not... your mom joke per season. <laughs> yes. Did we have one last season? <laughs> Literally the first episode. <laughs> so. You know, then this this woman shows up and is like it's calming them down because they're because they're like literally straight up about to fight. Like she's like standing up, like pulling out her wand, like she's, she's like, ready to go. So are your moms? <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know what got into Lily this summer, but it was something. Um, so yeah, but Remus is like, okay, like we're gonna calm down. And then this woman shows up and is like, she tells the other, she's like, y'all better stop right now. And they like listen to her, which is like really weird. And Lily's like, okay, what the heck? Anyway, so then this person turns around, is and Remus, yeah, and Remus is like, I'm so sorry, Effie, I didn't mean to. And she's like, no, 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 don't worry about that, don't worry about that. What you should worry about is the fact that you didn't tell me you had a girlfriend. Who's that? Oh, he's like, no. He's like, I, and so she, like, goes and, like, hugs Lily, and she's like, it's so nice to me. <laughs> and, he, and he's like, he's like, I don't have a girl, listen, this is Lily. He's like, this is Lily Evans. She's like, oh. And, yeah, and then she has, I said, and then she has a mini heart attack because she's like, oh my gosh, you're dating Lily Evans. <laughs> Who hasn't she thought was dating yeah, Lily? <laughs> She's like, everybody is dating Lily except like, for James. She's serious. <laughs> They're going to come back for like, I don't know, like Christmas break and she's going to be like, Peter and Lily are dating, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened now. <laughs> now it does, yeah. Um, but no, so she's like, she's like, uh, she's like, you're dating Lily? He's like, no. He's like, that was just the Slytherins being stupid. And she's like, thank goodness. I don't think I could have put up with James if that had happened because that would have been just like a bit too much. And then she's like, goes to Lily and she's like, he has been so insufferable about, well, about you with like the past years through like all of the letters. She's like, I don't know if he's like finally come to his senses or not, but I just want you to know that I'm sorry for his behavior. <laughs> just keep on doing exactly what you're doing. You don't owe him anything. Like, just ignore yes. him. Like, do do your thing. And Lily's like, thank you, but like, I have no idea who you are. <laughs> she's like. Thanks. She's Thanks. like, thank you, random stranger. I appreciate it very much. Um, no, but she's like, who who are you? And she's like, oh, she's, I'm so sorry. She's like, I'm you'll not. never know. <laughs> she just leaves. She just leaves. <laughs> Effie leaves in the sunset. And Remus is like, she's like, yeah. Love that woman. <laughs> no, but she's like, I'm James's mom. And Lily's like, hi. Mm. Hey there. <laughs> But so now she's just sitting there. So Lily's, like, eating the rest of her ice cream. And, like, Effie sits down, like, pulls up a chair. And she's like, listen. <laughs> she's and she's chatting. like, she's like, Remus, we have she not had a solid having chat. having a good time. Yeah. So she's just, like, they, they chat for a while. Um, and then, you know, right as she's about to leave, she's like, okay, but just to confirm, you don't have, like, a secret girlfriend that I don't know about or anything. <laughs> and and he, like, like, chokes on his mm. ice cream. And he's like, <clears throat> no, I'm, no, not, no. <laughs> Very <laughs> conspicuous, you know, very casual. Um, and so he's like, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, no, don't got one. But, like, as soon as, as soon as Effie leaves, Lily's like, Lily just thinks it's like, oh, because he's, like, not into girls. And, like, haha, that's the uh-huh. thing. But, um, but she's like, oh, yeah, so, like, about the whole serious thing. Has there, like, been an update in that situation? <laughs> it's like, like, school's about to start. <laughs> yes. But, Dang, like, but- Lily... Well, mm. well, no, she's, like, asked before, but, like, this is, like, a continual thing that she keeps on asking, and she's, like, okay, so, like, has the thing with Sirius? He's, like, mm, nope, nothing's happened, nothing, and she's, like, she's, like, I still can't believe that, like, you know, when we were about to leave, you just didn't say anything to him, and, like, you still won't say anything to him, and he's, like, we don't need to talk about this, like, I don't want to, and so he's, like, he just always shuts her down whenever she asks mm. about Sirius, because he's trying to keep it a secret, <laughs> and, but she's, like, oh, 
he just, oh, Sirius must have broken his heart, you know, and, like, everything like that. So she just, like, decides to drop it again Mm -hmm. until, like, he brings it up. Okay, so that's, like, our first little summer scene. Um, But no, and so then this is the one last scene from the summer that I really needed to get in there. Um, So it's, like, about a week before the start of school, maybe a little more. Mm -hmm. Um, And so Sirius is at the Potter's. Um, as mentioned, um, but he's still mostly communicating with Remus, like, through the journal. Like, they send owls, but, like, <laughs> with different conversations. <laughs> They're like, man, it's been a long time since I've seen you. <laughs> like, I think it becomes a joke. <laughs> like, they're just doing it for James, and so maybe one time, like, Sirius just, like, wrote him, like, a bunch of song lyrics. <laughs> it was like, he was like, listen to this song I wrote. And then it was just like a normal song. It was like, just what? a random, like, it's like a Queen song. Yeah. It's just, it's just Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah. He just wrote all and of Remus it. And Remus just responds. He's <laughs> like, I know that song. He's like, no way. <laughs> no, but yeah, so that's, that's going on. But anyway, that's it's like, it's like when you like text someone and then you're also like texting them on another. Yeah, when you're when you're DMing on on Instagram, but then you're also texting yeah. the same person, different conversation. That's literally what's happening. Um, but anyway, uh, so, um, but one day Remus's parents get a surprise invitation to like a weekend getaway with that same family from earlier that was like with Emmeline and stuff like oh. there and stuff. And so it's like those like rich. P- parents again are like okay we're having like a thing and like you guys should come because now they're besties i'm only got their whole <laughs> i know she's like all good and so but but of course arenas is like okay i got the whole weekend like what 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 are we doing what's going down and Sirius is like he's like okay i can't do a whole weekend i'm literally at the potters and like james would maybe get a little bit suspicious there um but he's like but i can like you know do a night like we did last time and like we can hang out for sure and he's like that's good enough for me so, you know, same deal, um, except for one thing. <laughs> when it's time for for Remus's parents to leave, they're, like, taking their time. They're, like, not leaving quickly. And, and it's he's just, just, like, he's, like, you guys can go. Like, I'll grab your bags. Like, like, you I, guys. I got you. He's, like, do whatever you need to do. <sighs> just get out of here as quickly as possible. He's, like, you don't want to be late. <laughs> Yeah, so he's, like, really kind of nervous that they won't leave before um, Sirius gets there. But that's not the biggest problem, because then, as they're leaving, he's like, all right, Emily, and where is your bag? Like, we gotta get you out of here, too. And she's like, I'm not going. Like, this is just a parent's thing. Like, I don't know what you're thinking. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, what? He's I like, love the idea that she, like... She, like, got this to happen because she was like, something's going on. I don't think that was a thing. I think these parents just became besties, but if that's your own conspiracy theory, that's conspiracy theory. This is your own headcanon within a headcanon. This is Emma's version. <laughs> yeah, welcome to my version. <laughs> no, no, I don't think that was it. I think she was just like, she's like, this is just like a them thing. Like, they just kind of became besties. And he's like, he's like... Wait, you're not leaving? And his parents were like, yeah, didn't we tell you that you're, like, taking, that you're, like, watching (laughs) Emmeline for, like, the weekend? They're like, it's just two days. He's, like, panicking. And they're like, it's just two days with your sister. She's, like, 12. Like, you'll be fine. And he's, like, he's, like, he's, like, okay. I guess. He's, like, this is good. (laughs) And so then the parents leave. Thank goodness Sirius isn't here yet. But he just looks at Emily and he's, like, well... (laughs) I guess it's he's time. Like, surprise! <laughs> no, he's like, I guess it's time to go to bed. And she's like, she's like, it's like, it's she, like three. No, she, it's six p.m. And she's like, it's literally. She's like, I'm, I'm, what? And he's like, I'm, so, I'm in charge. <laughs> like, looks like you gotta go to sleep now. And she's like, I'm not gonna go to sleep. And finally, it just like he's like, please. Just please go to your room, please. That's all I'm asking. Please, I really need you to do this. And she's like, okay. <laughs> So she goes up to her room, and then, like, within, like, five minutes, just the rumble of Sirius's motorcycle, and he still doesn't, Remus still does not have a plan, and he's like, oh my gosh, so he just runs outside, and he's like, turn around right now, and leave, I need for you to go, and Sirius is like, oh my gosh, are your parents still here? And he's like, worse, <laughs> it's Emmeline, <laughs> and she... <laughs> and Emily 
Elaine is just at the door yeah. already, and she's it's not like, like they don't have like windows. I know. <laughs> she's like, I know. She's like, welcome. <laughs> no, but she's like, who's that, Remus? <laughs> Remus is like about to cry, <laughs> and seriously like, tries to hide like behind a tree or something. <laughs> That's like not like the whole motorcycle too. He tries to hide behind the motorcycle, maybe. <laughs> He's like, if she can't see me, I don't know, man. <laughs> no, but she's like, Remus, who did you invite when you thought nobody else was going to be home? And he's like, no one. He's like, do you see he's anyone? Like, That's just a motorcycle. <laughs> he's like, no, you don't see anyone. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. It's a whole thing. It is like a whole freaking thing just to get <laughs> Remus and Sirius to acknowledge the fact that Sirius is even there. <laughs> They're just trying oh to convince God. her she's crazy. She's like, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway... So I finally get her, you know, get everybody inside. And, you know, and Elaine's like, what the heck? And they're like, okay. And Remus is finally like, okay, listen, like, this is Sirius Black. And you know how our family is about the Black family. You know that, like, I'm not even friends with him. Well, surprise, surprise, Kingsley is serious. And yes, I am friends with him. And she's like, oh, okay. And he's like, and I'm going to need for you to keep this, like, a major secret. But she's like, okay, didn't you, didn't, like, mom and dad, like, say that, like, literally his family is the worst family ever? So she- And Cersei's is like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but she's like, yeah, but they're like, okay, but he's different. And she's like, I don't think so. So she interrogates Sirius. <laughs> She like he's like sitting down on like the couch and she's like pacing in front of him and like <laughs> Remus is like biting his nails in the back. <laughs> it's it's a whole thing. <laughs> she's like, "How long have you known my brother? Like, what is the, what is this? How good of friends are you? Where did you get your jacket? Can I get one of your Can jacket? I, have- I think it's really nice." <laughs> and like everything, it's like a whole it's a whole thing. Um, but no, then eventually after she's like, "Okay, he's chill." They're like, okay, like, so you're going to keep this a secret? And she's like, mm, what's in it for me, though? And Remus, like, a jacket? <laughs> <laughs> no, Sirius is not giving up his jacket. Do you know this man? <laughs> He's like, no. Um, but no. That but- was her demand. <laughs> My version. <laughs> No, but I think uh, Remus is like, I will give you, like, all of the ice cream we have. We'll go out and get more ice cream. Like, I'll do whatever you want from me, but, like, we don't have, like, much to do. <laughs> and she's like, mm, I want to ride on Sirius's motorcycle. And Remus is like, okay, no. that's not happening. Right at the same time, Sirius is like, yeah, yeah, I can do that. Like, that's not an issue. So anyway, so that ends up happening, and Remus just, you know, like, cries. <laughs> So, yeah, so that happens. She ends up loving Sirius all as well. Um, and they basically end up just, like, all hanging out together for, like, the rest of the night. Like, it's just yeah. because that's the only way they're going to get her to, like, not say anything. But also, it's just, like, not that bad. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, eventually, you know, she does end up going to sleep, like, before he leaves because, mm-hmm. like, she... Because she's, she's basically James. So, you know, she has to go running with her friends in the morning. Because they're, like, yeah, training for, like, the school year to start. And, like, for, you know, track and everything like that. <laughs> James would love her. I know! <laughs> um, but anyway. So, that's the only re- reason, you know, that she ends up ever falling asleep. <laughs> um, but anyway, so then after she does, they kind of get some, you know, alone time. And it, it's nice, but... Um, But Remus is just like, I am so sorry. He's like, everything is ruined. And like, I'm so sorry. And Sirius is like, I had the time of my life. That was He's like, I love your sister. And he's like, oh my gosh, you're going to ruin my sister, aren't you? Um, But yeah, so that's like the other like little kind of scene from the summer that I just had to share. Um, And then, yeah, and then a couple days later... um, Emily gets a owl to her room, and she assumes it's, like, for Remus or, like, her dad or something, and she's like, I don't get owls, like, I don't have any wizarding friends, and then she sees it's a package, and it has her name on it, and she sees a note, and she opens it, and it's, like, in this beautiful handwriting, and it says, for your troubles, from Sirius, <laughs> and inside she got is her it. own leather <laughs> jacket, he went out and <laughs> bought her one, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I just needed that in my life. Amazing. So anyway, a couple days later, time to go back to Hogwarts. Oh, yeah. Gotta get back to Hogwarts. Gotta get back to Hogwarts. Remus really can't get away from morning runs. No, he can't. He's like literally... No matter where he goes. At least (laughs) Emmeline is like in a different room than him. 
just like doesn't just <laughs> wake everybody up and <laughs> she's like gotta go I imagine James is also like everyone we're going <laughs> every single morning yeah. he's like who's coming he's like me? today's the day <laughs> yeah <laughs> and every single morning everybody's like please stop uh, let us go back to sleep so the whole gang gets there um, so they all just, like, have this habit of just getting there really early. Like, it's just nice. them. They're all like, we all gotta talk to each other. Families gotta talk to each other. It's a whole thing. Um, so, but Remus arrives last. And, um, this is, like, the biggest thing that is happening here is that, um, Emmeline actually goes with Remus and her parents to go to the thing because like you know now she's like fully moved on from the fact that she's not going there yeah she's and now that she's literally the most popular person. yeah she's like I don't need Hogwarts but like I do want to see the magic train though that seems kind of like, nice trains though <laughs> so they decide to go and also it's like kind of a big deal for Remus because nobody knows that he has a sister except for like his closest friends and he's just gonna show up with this 12 year old girl that looks exactly like him and be like yeah she exists yeah. <laughs> what can I say um so yeah so that kind of happens definitely wearing the jacket too oh yeah oh a thousand percent she's for sure in the jacket um but, like, you know, she has so much fun, like, going through, like, the barrier. She's like, dude. She's like, dang. Secret she just, passes. like, goes through a couple times. <laughs> and they're like, you can't do that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> no, but we also see what I call protective Remus, Tia. <laughs> because he's, like, he doesn't want anybody to come for the fact that, like, he has, like, a, you know... Like a not magic. Yeah. Sister. And also he's like he yeah, he just doesn't want anything to happen. Mm -hmm. So, you know. But of course when she sees Sirius, she like gives him a she's big like, hug. Yo! She's like, yo, what's up? I got the jacket. <laughs> and like everybody else is like, what the heck? But like, thank goodness. And <laughs> Remus is like, You are so lucky that our parents are talking to the potters right now. Because you would have just literally ruined everything. And what did we talk about this being a secret? Like, what are you doing? It was a whole thing. She's like, it's um, fine. Yeah, she's like, he's my bro, though. Like, what am I going to do? <laughs> um, but no, so she's just, like, during, like, this whole, you know, part where they're all just kind of talking to each other, like, in, in a circle, you know, as you do with your friends. Um, so, yeah, she's just kind of being there, catching up with the boys, you know, maybe <laughs> maybe James is, like, we ready catching for the runs? She's meeting them for the first time. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> but she's, like, heard of them, and yeah. they've heard of her. So it's like, okay. you know, they're kind of like, yo, what's up? James is um, like, I would like to schedule a run. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I heard you're on the track. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's like, here's here's our thing. But no, so, but basically, you know, she's just kind of observing all of them talk and catch up and everything. But anyway, so then Lily runs in briefly, and she goes up to Remus, and she's like, Instead of saying hi to anybody in this group, she's like, Remus, 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 Remus. And he's like, it's like nice to see you hey, too, hey. Lily. Like, what's going on? She's like, do you know who is head boy and girl this year? And he's like, yeah, it's like Melody Duke, that Hufflepuff one, and like Hayden Greenlee, the Gryffindor, right? And she's like, no. Nope. She's like, not anymore. Not Hayden. He decided to turn himself in for cheating on the transfiguration exams last year. And, you know, now he's not head boy. And he's like, no, he did not. And I'm she's like, feeling like he wouldn't just turn himself in. No, he did. He's like, apparently he got the letter and was like, I can't be head boy. I literally oh, cheated on okay. my exams. You know, he's like, that's kind of not good. So she's like, so he turned himself in and turned it down because he felt bad. And he was like, oh my gosh, of course, like the Gryffindor, like honesty and pride and like whatever. He's like, oh my word. He's like, okay, so he's like, and then who is it now? And she's like, well, then it was Asher Fleming. And he's like, was? <laughs> and she's like, not anymore. He cheated too. And he was like, if Hayden turned himself in, now I gotta turn myself in. And like, I can't do this. <laughs> so they both <laughs> are cheating on Trace. Like, both cheated on the cheat on a magic. Well, on the written portion. That's <sighs> what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, so it's like, or maybe they got like their like self spelling charm, yeah. or like wands or whatever. It's like a whole thing. Um, and so he's like, so he cheated, and then he's like, and then James is like, oh no. He's like, don't tell me that they chose a Slytherin for head boy. And she's like, she's like, nope. not just any Slytherin. <laughs> no, no, then she's like, no. Nope. Oh. <laughs> You'll never guess who organized it all. <laughs> all of the cheating. It was like a thing between all of like the prefect boys and like 
sixth year that year were like, let's all cheat on the transfiguration exam. So when the other two guys did it, their only thing was like, but also Philip did it. So like, you can't make him head boy. The only person who didn't cheat on the exam. No. Was the Hufflepuff. Oh, I thought you were going to say it was Remus, and I was like, no, not. No, he's okay. not a head boy, don't worry, because they're too young anyway. They're, oh, they're still right. in sixth year. No. I was like, that would not. <laughs> no. It is <clears throat> Erian Davis. And I don't know if you remember I what I said about Melody Duke and Erian oh Davis. Oh my gosh. No. But they're the couple that just makes out all the time at any <laughs> they given They probably point. chose the other people because they were like, we don't want this. <laughs> yeah, they did. And so he's like, he's like, no. He's like, don't tell me. <laughs> and the others are like, what is it? They're like, Arian is like, not that bad. Like, we've met him. Like, what do you mean? And they're like, not him and Melody. <laughs> and they're like, they are disgusting. You couldn't go five steps without like hearing them in like a broom closet or whatever. And they're like, it's not happening. And he's like, but then Remus was like, no, but he's like, what was worse was at the end of the year when they broke up. And then it was like, horrible because they're like angry at each other all the time and like she's crying and stuff he's like i can't deal with more of that he's like them working together it's going to be so bad yeah he's like it was somehow worse when they broke up like it was somehow harder to be around them and lily's like no <laughs> she's like remus it's like it seems that they've gotten back together <laughs> she's like Oh, geez. And he's like, when did that happen? And she's like, by the sounds of it, about five minutes ago. And he's like, what? And she's like, in the prefix car. And he's like, you're kidding. Oh. And she's like, where I went to go save us seats together five minutes ago. And he's oh. like, no. And he's like, trying not to laugh, but like, Lily is fully <laughs> traumatized. Hysterical. And she's like, I'm not okay. And he's like, what did you hear, Lily? And she just says, too much. <laughs> Anyway, I just love the side story <laughs> of just these two being the worst head boy and girl ever because they're just fully in love. <laughs> but, like, not, like, actually in love. Just, like, just weird. Yeah, anyway. Point is, everybody says goodbyes at the train. Uh, Lily and Remus have to sit through, like, the worst prefect meeting that they've ever had because they're just, like, no, Melody's going to tell us this thing. She's, like, thank you, Arian, so much. I love you. <laughs> it's, like... Painful and everybody there is like, I can't deal with another year. <laughs> um, but but yeah, the only other thing of interest that happens there is that Regulus is the new Slytherin prefect. And Remus is like, Remus had no idea that this was happening. So he like kind of catches eyes with him and he's like, what's up? <laughs> and Regulus is like, <laughs> we did the same thing. But yeah, he just like looks away, like not, you know, vibing. But yeah, so there's that. So then after the meeting, uh, Remus is like, okay, so like, just to Lily, he's like, okay, so like, you're gonna go see, you know, uh, your other friends that you, that you got here, like Julie and Mary and everybody, but like, one of the things they talked about a lot over the summer is that like, nobody has talked with her throughout the entire mm -hmm. summer except for him. Like, they're not answering her letters or anything, and she doesn't really know what's up with that. Um, so she's a little concerned. Uh, but, and so he's like, are you good? Like, you good going to hang out with them? And she's like, yeah. She's like, it's fine. Like, I'm sure it was just like, you know, they were away, they were busy, whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, it'll be fine. It'll be all good. Um, so, you know, Remus goes back to his car and stuff with the marauders and they're like, with yo, the what's good and stuff. And James is like... I thought you were, like, and they're both supposed to be, like, patrolling the trains at this point, too. He's like, I thought you were supposed to be patrolling the train. He's like, yeah, I'm supposed to, but, like, I really don't feel like it. And he's like, not today. He's, he's like, Lily does it better. And they're like, so you've already given up. <laughs> and he's like, yes. Just, I just can't say. He's like, I'm just not going to do anything. And they're like, sweet. Um, he's like, I don't want this. I know. So he's like, he's like, it's not like, you know. Dumbledore was ever gonna make me head boy and James is like could you imagine him making you head boy with like all the stuff that you've done like that would be crazy and you know Whoa. kind of foreshadowing there but it's fine don't worry about it um but then suddenly the door is open and it's Lily and she's like Remus and he's like listen like I'm sorry I'm told you like I'm not patrolling the train you can't make me do it and she's like and he's like and then he realizes that she's like crying mm -hmm. and he's like She's like, can I sit in here? And he's like, what the heck? Because he's like, we, you don't see Lily cry. Like, that's not, 
he's like, okay, um, sure, yeah, this is, this is all, mm -hmm, come on in. <laughs> and, like, the others are, like, like, we just, like, we were, we were close we were, with like, him for, like, two weeks. And not even close. <laughs> just, like, she was just here. We, like, existed in the same space. I know, space. but now she's, like, crying. And they're like, what the heck do we do? And so, you know, Remus is like, what's wrong? Even though he kind of already knows. So he's like, what happened? And she's like, they just, and she, like, can barely talk. Mm -hmm. She's like, they just didn't, they, they just, and James is like, who? Ooh. He's like, who is it? He's like, I will kill them. And she looks at him and she's like, <laughs> like immediately stops crying for like a half a second. And it's like, do you ever stop talking? <laughs> and he just like goes quiet for like, so the, she's entire, like anyways, <laughs> for the entire rest of the thing. Yeah, anyway, she goes back to crying. <laughs> she's just like processing it. And Remus is like trying to ask her like what happened, but he kind of already knows. And so, you know, um... Lily's like, why? She's like, just what did I do to deserve this? Like, what even happened? Like, why do they not like me anymore? Why don't they want to be my friend anymore? And he's like, he's like, you didn't do anything, Lily. It's not your fault. It's their fault for believing all that crap. And she's like, believing what crap? And he's like, oh gosh. And then it's quiet. And then she's like, believing what, Remus? <laughs> And he's, like, just doesn't say anything. And then Sirius is, like, okay, this is my job. Because, like, I got the whole horrible he, family like, I get thing the or whatever. Inside scoop. Like, okay, I guess this is a me thing. He doesn't say that, but he just kind of jumps in. He's, like, it's, like, everything that the Daily Prophet's been saying. And what happened two days ago? And she's, like, what, what happened what two days happened? ago? And she's, like, what are you talking about? And Peter's, like, well, with that, with that boy like, and his hmm. parents... And, like, Lily has no idea what's happening, and so, so serious. He's like, oh, gosh. He's like, why is this always me thing? But he's like, yeah, anyway. So he tells him. So he tells him all about this thing that happened with Voldemort that, like, those French guys were alluding oh, to. Yeah. Were alluding to. Um, and so he, what he had done is he killed a, a Muggleborn's parents and left the kid basically as good as dead, and he's, like, a four-year-old or whatever. And since he literally killed these these kids' parents in front of him, this kid lost his magical powers because, like, then he became... I don't know if you, you want to subscribe to the idea of, like, the inferior or whatever, but if you have a traumatizing moment and then you sub suppress all of your stuff. Anyway, I don't know. Or maybe it was just what the Daily Prophet is saying. Um, but, you know, that's what's being reported is they're like, see, he's not actually magic. It was just, like, his parents found out some way to, like, do this and then, like, that's it and it proves that Muggleborns aren't real. And so then that's, like, all of this misinformation that's being spread and, like, what people are starting to kind of believe. And they're like, okay, Muggleborns don't belong here at all or anything. And so then that's what that's what happened. And Julie and Mary got swept up in that and mm. believed it and said that they didn't want to uh, talk with Lily anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so fun. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so Lily, Lily hears about this and she's like, what? <laughs> she's like, I was literally, what? <laughs> what happened here? And she's like, she's like, why is the Wizarding World, like, agreeing with this? She's like, this is, like, totally, she's like, my parents could not. Like, she's like, I was so confused. And they're like, well, it's kind of been happening all year, like, in the Daily Prophet. They've kind of, like, been building up. Yeah, they've kind of been more siding with this, mm. you know, idea of Muggleborns. And so this was, like, the tipping point. And, you know, so she's, like, you know, just, like, totally trying to process this, and it's quiet for, like, a solid two minutes, and then she's, like, I totally ruined your guys' mood here, didn't I? <laughs> and and Peter like, yes. and James are, like, no, like, this isn't, no, it's, like, we're good. <laughs> and Sirius is, like, no, you completely ruined yeah. our vibe. I was living it up until you came in here. He was like, I gave her to get away from that. And, wow. I know. and, he's, and she's like, what the heck, serious? And he's like, I'm being honest. He's like, like she just kind of like looks at Remus and she's like, this <laughs> kid. She's like, this is the guy. That like, no, but honestly, it's kind of refreshing. To and she like almost kind of laughs at it. And he's like, and so then Sirius just kind of goes on. And he's like, well, it's true. He's like, I was just telling Peter this hilarious story of how when my mom tried to cut off my hair, when she was telling me that she was going to cut my hair, um, 
we woke up the next morning and it was like a foot longer than it was the night before. And he, and he takes down his hair and it's true. It's like like at his waist now. That's that's been a thing since his last like you know date with Remus or whatever. I just didn't want to mention it until now. It's just very long and luxurious, and he's like, I can't do anything about it anymore. He's like, I don't even like it this long. He's like, I've tried. He's like, I can't do it. He's like, I don't know. Um, but, you know, so eventually, you know, the tension kind of dissipates, and everything's okay, but, like, it's still awkward having Lily there and everything, but Sirius kind of makes it, like, he's like, okay, we're gonna get back to joking now, because she doesn't want to be crying here in front of, like, these people that she low-key hates. Mm-hmm. Um so that's kind of nice. So then eventually, you know, once things are kind of back to normal, he's like, listen, Lily, what, whatever those girls told you, it was horrible, all right? Like, don't listen to them. Like, you're the best witch in our year, and you know it. You're even better than James. And James is like, that's kind of not he's true. Like, but, no. like, he's, like, not – he still is, like, not really talking to her after she snaps at him. He's, he's still, like – Okay. Oh, um, <laughs> he just like looks like over like kind of offended. <laughs> but yeah, so then you know, and then they're like, "Is there anything else we can do for with, with you?" And she's like, "Well, I guess I guess I'm gonna need some place to sit at the Great Hall." And they're like, "Okay, I guess you're doing that now." And they all kind of agreed. They're like, "Okay, I guess Lily's just part of the gang now." And it's just kind of weird, but like they're going with it. And James doesn't say anything the entire night <laughs> because he's like, "I don't want to just." He's like, "I can shut up. Like I don't know what you mean." <laughs> um, oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so dinner's a bit awkward, you know. They're they're just this trying to. This is what to... finally makes him not <laughs> rather <rather involved. laughs> Literally, <laughs> he's like, but yeah, so dinner's <laughs> awkward. But you know, they're all just kind of talking and like, um. But yeah, so basically, just to give a little context, um, that girl Eden Rosewood is like the one who kind of started this whole thing. She started inviting Mary and um, and Julie. Like, mm. well, really, what it was it was because Mary's mobile born <clears throat> too. But here's the thing. Yeah, that's the issue here. But she does have other family members that are wizards. Like, she has, like, an aunt and an uncle that are. Mm. That are, like, you know, kind of unrelated. So they're like, okay, but you still got it from your family. But then wouldn't those... Wouldn't they be my It's weird, okay? None of it makes sense, okay? Yeah, they still don't really treat her, like, the same... But, like, she's not, like, as bad as Lily. Because Ugh. Lily didn't even know about, like, the wizarding world beforehand or anything like that. Um, but, yeah, and they're like, at least it makes sense for you. So, yeah, so basically Eden, like, kind of was, like, so everybody was hanging out at Eden's house. And Eden has, like, you know, these parents that believe in this. And her dad works for the ministry and all that stuff. And so then that's just kind of how that happened. But, um but no, it's Lily isn't the only one at Hogwarts that's like kind of lost their friends over this, mm. and like they realize that in the Great Hall, like the groups are getting smaller, and just it's yeah, it's not good. The sorting, the sorting was weird. The sorting hat sang a weird song. Everything's weird. <laughs> not that. great. Um, yeah, and at one point, Remus is like, uh, he's like, serious? You didn't tell me Regulus was a prefect, and he's like, oh, yeah, that happened, <laughs> and then just went on with his life. Um, so everything's weird. Not great, but of course I end things on a high note. Don't worry. After dinner, the common room is full and busy and everything. And, you know, Remus and Lily have just helped, like, all the first years, Mm -hmm. like, find their way back and, like, show them to their rooms and everything like that. And then Lily realizes she's like, oh, shoot, they're all, like, my roommates. She's like, what am I supposed to do here? I don't know. And so, like, James notices, but he's not going to say anything (laughs) because he doesn't talk anymore. Um, But so he goes to, like, you know, tell Remus and Sirius, he's like, what what is she supposed to do about this? Like, she can't just, like, go and be like, okay, now let's have a summer party. So Sirius is like, okay, I have a plan. He's like, Marlene, (laughs) get over here right now. He's like, don't worry. (laughs) He's like, don't worry, we'll keep this under wraps. (laughs) Marlene! Like, and she just, like, pops up, like, right next to him. Like, out of nowhere. She's like, hey. No, but she's like, what do you want? And James is like, see, they're in love. <laughs> sorry. Not I won't James. bring that up anymore. I'm sorry. No, I love that. It's my favorite part. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I will bring it up again. But no. But he's like, he was like, Marlene, let me introduce you to Lily. She's like, I know who Lily is. She's like, like, yeah, we've been friends. <laughs> she, well, I don't think 
and her like been <laughs> really friends, but like she knows who yeah. Lily is. Like it's not she's like James talks about her all the time. Like how am I not supposed to know who Lily is? He's like, well, anyway, here's Lily. <laughs> Lily, this is Marlene. Uh, <laughs> she's like, he's like, anyway, listen, Marlene. So it turns out all the other like girls in her year are just are like my family which is like really unfortunate and she's like oh dang lily i'm sorry like, bro that really sucks and she's like and he, she's like yeah i guess it does and he's like anyway so like you're gonna let her sleep in your room now right and marlene's like yeah, oh, yeah. Of <laughs> and she's like heck yeah let's do it and so she's like what's up lily and then i think like marlene like goes like, up to, she's like, where's your trunk? And she's like, I don't know, probably in the room. So, like, Marlene goes up to the room and, like, takes the whole trunk and probably yells at everybody else in there. She's like, you all are terrible friends. Lift trunk. And just, like, goes up there. I think Marlene also ended up, like, transfiguring, like, the whole like, a whole other bed for Lily. And they, like, move everything around. And then the other girls in that year, who, by the way, are Dorcas, uh, Marlene, Amory Smith, Bonnie Jordan, who was friends with Lily last year, a girl named Evelyn Nolan, and Irene Myers. Um, so anyway, you'll hear those names. But yeah, as they all just come up, they're like, who's this? <laughs> and Marlene's like, it's Lily. She's going to be here. And they're like, all right, chill. They're like, yeah. I don't know. I just think all of this year. I feel like that that's already, like, a lot of people in one dorm. And so uh -huh. I feel like they just, like, grabbed, like, they're others. like, oh, there's grabbed. another person. Maybe there's also, like, a second year in there for no reason. <laughs> no, no. But it's just, like, I don't know. There's, like, a Ravenclaw. <laughs> there's, there's chill in there. I know. But it's just, like, they just, like, kind of have, I feel like that is, like, the most chill room in, like, the entire thing. <laughs> Because they've all had to deal with, like, the Marauders being the year below them. And so it's like, their drama became irrelevant in, like, second year. They're like, there's nothing we can do that, like, anybody would care about at this point. Because there's just too much with them. Uh, but yeah, so Marlene's like, dang, you had to become friends with them. That's, like, low. And she's like, aren't you friends with them? And she's like, yeah, but, like, still it's awful. She's like, that's low for you. I know. But yeah, so that's like kind of how they become besties. But like, Lily's just like, I'm not supposed to be. Here. She's like, I'm a prefect. I'm supposed to like follow the rules, and I'm definitely breaking a rule by of some kind by like being here. And she's like, Has anyone told you you can't do this? And she's like, Kingsley's been in a different dorm since yeah. first year. Like, I'm pretty sure this is fine. <laughs> Kingsley's also in that room too. Yeah, <laughs> Kingsley's the only person who can get past like the charm, like for the staircase. They're like, Yeah, because, let him in. Because they're all like, Oh, it's Kingsley. They're like, he's it's cool. All good. They just they just levitate him up every night. <laughs> <laughs> no yeah but it's like it's it's a really great group and i'm really excited for that um and the only other thing is um in the boys dorm um Sirius cuts his hair and it actually stays that way so it's yeah. like back to his shoulder length and he's like sweet i can deal with this again <laughs> um no so that's a fun little adventure because like he's like peter he's like i trust you to cut my hair and then he like screams <laughs> the whole time and then like James tries to do it and he like cuts like a whole hack off of his hair and, and of course Remus has to end up doing it because nobody else can um but yeah so that's like a whole thing and of course they have to bring the cake to Kingsley and invite him back to the dorm once more and of course he says no but of course yeah it's, he just it's, like takes the cake and he's like bye <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna go to the, I'm gonna go to Marlene's door. He's like, now. yeah. <laughs> um, no, but anyway, so the only other thing is just that, um, you know, after everybody's kind of asleep, Remus and Sirius are like, yo, what's good again? Um, but Remus is like, you didn't tell me about Regulus, like being a prefect. Like now I'm gonna see him all the time, and you just you didn't tell me that. And he's like, I don't know what you want me to tell, because, like, my mom was really happy for him. Like, what else do you want me to say? And he's like, I'm sorry, I, like, didn't mean to do that. And, like, it, it's kind of mm -hmm. awkward, but eventually Sirius, he, you know, Sirius is defensive at first, but then he's like, yeah, I just don't want him to become friends with all the Slytherin prefects. He's like, mm -hmm. I feel like there's still hope for him now, but in a couple of years, I don't know now. And it just really sucks. Mm. Um, and Remus is like, well, I'm also there. He's like, so like... What a coincidence. He's like, it'll work out. And he's like, 
Remus, he, he, he hates you. And he's like, it'll work out. <laughs> he was like, we made eye contact on the train, actually. So, like, I think we're friends. <laughs> yeah. No, but, like, yeah. So that's that's basically the end. Um, but, yeah. So it's kind of fun, kind of funky. Um, I'm really, I'm so excited to get Marlene <laughs> and Lily interacting mm-hmm. more. Lily ends up staying in this dorm for the rest of the year, I will tell you. Um, not honestly due to, like, a lot of the other stuff. Some but of that will get just resolved. She just ends up being like, yeah, this is this is my <laughs> gang now. This is it. Um, so, yeah, so we'll get some Dorcas content, yeah. some Marlene content. Um, everybody wants to know if I, if I am shipping Marlene and Dorcas in this um, version because, like, it's, you know, a very popular ship. Mm-hmm. And the answer is... Again, I have no idea. <laughs> not a clue. Because it could fit, and it could not, and I just have gone back and forth for, you know, as long as this has been a thing. Because on one hand, I'm like, it's not relevant. And then on the other hand, I'm like, but, like, it's fun, though. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen um, with that. It might just be, like, a mention here mm-hmm. or there. But it's a fun, it's a fun gang. And, like, also, <laughs> a lot of these OCs I'm excited for, too. So, yeah, and I'm sorry if everybody everybody's gonna be mad about Julie now because everybody loved Julie. And I'm like, you you can still like Julie. This is just like this is it's a phase. This is her dip. <laughs> um but yeah. So sorry about that. But um, but we got Marlene. Marlene. Yeah. <laughs> so kind of a trade-off. <laughs> um yeah. So anyway, I really hope you enjoyed that. Uh do you have any other comments to add i i like to think that they just have the raven just in the room the, and the it just raven yeah yeah of course there's they had to no move. it's actually kingsley's raven <laughs> should be kingsley's no. like you can't tell them <laughs> no but they should move it to they i think they had to move that to like fit lily's bed in there and now it's just in the middle of the room <laughs> Raven stand. <laughs> like one day, like McGonagall like comes in to like check in, and there's just like a circle there's of beds with it. A- <laughs> I know. And she's like, "Where did this extra bed come from?" And Lily's like, "She's like, I don't know, man." <laughs> she's like, anyway. "I don't know. We are just practicing some transfiguration." She's like, "Cool. I she's like the like- Raven." <laughs> she's like, "Hey, Kingsley." <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a good place to leave this off. All right, so I'm so sorry this took so long. For all of you who will be asking, when's the next one coming out? Bro, I don't know. Mm. You ask so much. <laughs> I'm kidding. I want to be writing these. I love writing these. I love recording these. I don't know when it's, it's going to happen. It's a surprise. I want it to happen more. I had a lot of stuff going on this past, this past month, if I'm being honest. And, like, hopefully it'll calm down. Who? Hopefully. <laughs> who knows? Who knows? Um, but, yeah. So, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this, Mm -hmm. and we'll try and get back to posting more regularly, but who knows? And, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Big shout out to um, Ren the Men of Morphomagus on TikTok and Benji Wilson uh, for the music and cover art. Uh, I really appreciate it, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!